Good afternoon, oil traders. It is Tuesday, July 25th at 3.57 p.m. Eastern. So we're just a minute or two away from uh, end of trading here on the East Coast of North America. And as you can see, we are closing at the highs. Um, the very, very high was uh, 47.95 for the day. Um, and we're settling in at 47.89 with seconds to go right now. Um, bulls are definitely back, uh, you know, it, they're being, the credit is being given to uh, the Saudis for their announced cuts, um, and that's certainly possible. Uh, I, I mean, of course, it's a contributing factor. Keep in mind that we also have API news in about half an hour and EIA news uh, tomorrow morning at 10.30. Um, so, you know, it's tough to say what the what the factors are that are that are playing into this, but it is what it is, and uh, we're up. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if we made it over 48 uh, tomorrow or this afternoon, if uh, news is positive on top of uh, the Saudi cuts. Um, so I played this just as I said I would. Um, I added to my short position and purchased another short at 47.40. Um, that was uh, down in this area here just before this big rally started. Um, of course, <laughs> that's always the case. Um, it was uh, a good enough number. It was a better uh, price at which to buy that short um, than I had it uh, last week. If you remember, I had the short um, at 46.30 and sold that for profit when we dropped. Um, so buying it in you know, again, here, I'm better off than I was before, so it's all good. Um, I was expecting actually to add to my position um, here uh, above 48, but we just couldn't make it today. Uh, couldn't, couldn't make it happen, so we'll see. Um, that being said, I did have a long position from 47, as I mentioned, and I really, really wanted to sell that above 48. Um, but beggars can't be choosers and 47.91 which is exactly where we just closed as a matter of fact is where I sold my long um, so I sold it for uh, let's flip to my tradingjournal.ca account and I sold it for a return of 2.47% uh, or uh, five and a quarter so $525 um, so I'm certainly you know not complaining whatsoever I was hoping for a little bit better today um, but you know you can only hope um, that being said I really was biased towards trying to get out of some of my long positions as you can see I've been holding that long position for 40 over 48 days um, that long position was purchased on June 7th uh, so you know had I not sold and for whatever reason if we then start to drop um, I really would have been kicking myself for not taking the opportunity to reduce my long exposure. Of course, if we spike, I'm going to regret that, but you know, it is what it is. I still have a long position. If we flip over to my portfolio on tradingjournal.ca, you can still see that I am holding a long position that is over 97 days old right now. Um, it is in the red, so it's, it'll still take some, uh, some doing before I can get out of that position with a profit. Um, it's up closer to 52. Um, I don't actually expect to be able to even break even on that. Um, but it's there as a hedge, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, you know, the other thing I noticed is if you look at this chart, um, we had these big dramatic declines um, on uh, July 20th and then the 21st, and then we've had this gradual climb back up today being the most significant jump um, all the way from a low of 45 and a half all the way up to almost 48 that's pretty significant um, in such a short period of time and you know yes the Saudis have agreed to cuts but we all know what that's worth so you know whether this continues or not um, is anyone's guess I still say you know play this as if it's 50-50 um, it certainly, I don't question the fact that it certainly still looks bullish, but like I said, if I hadn't sold my long um, and we dropped from here, I would have regretted it. Now, I don't feel that confident in adding to my long position, uh, my short position here. I added um, 
at 4740. Uh, I, I guess I was pointing out the, num the area wrong. So I added at 4740 here before this spike. Um, and this move here was just not enough for me to warrant adding yet again to the short position. If we ended up at 48.20, I actually had an uh, order placed at 48.40 if we got there. Um, that would have made sense to me, but um, where we ended the day, it was good enough to sell the, the long, but not good enough to add to my short position. So that's what it is. Um, but yes, I, I don't dispute the fact that it still looks very much bullish. Um, I, it was just good enough and I really couldn't risk it. Um, you know, holding it for over six weeks, it's when it's good enough, it's good enough. Um, so the next is um, API news. Um, we're at 4.04 right now, almost 4.05. We've got about 25 minutes before we find out what the API news is. And you can expect something to happen. <laughs> Either we'll drop back down to the mid 47s or we'll pop over 48. Um, probably both actually. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, we'll wait until EIA tomorrow at 10.30 to get confirmation of what actually will happen. Um, but that's what it is. Um, you can see here that uh, the West Coast is trying to make a move up closer to 48 ahead of news. Um, we'll see if they can manage it. Um, but uh, until then, I'll check back with you guys tomorrow morning before markets open at 9.30 here on the East Coast in North America. And meantime, good luck. Cheers.